Now, Big Board Sports with Roger Wiley. Well, a very good evening, everybody. The new head coach of the Albany Empire is actually not all that new, and he's a former face. In fact, he's the same guy who got fired a week before the season started. Guess who's going to be coaching the team on Saturday night at MVP Arena? Tom Manas is coming back. That is the coach that has won back-to-back -back National Arena League championships. He is returning, and Tony O'Brown has reached out to him today. They have now officially worked out an agreement, and he's bringing Damon Ware, the coach that was just the interim coach that was just fired this week. He will be back as the associate head coach. I just finished up a Zoom with Coach Manas, and I asked him how he's going to feel with the any hard feelings returning to a team that literally just fired him. The hard feelings um, that I have or had um, weren't ever earmarked at anybody. They were earmarked at a situation. And I think that one of the worst things we can do as humans is waste energy on things behind us. Um, there's a great line that it says, don't trip over anything behind you. And that's behind us right now. Um, you know, starting tonight, starting right now, everything's in front of us. All right, I'll have more with uh, Coach Manas on uh, by 4 at 9 and on News Channel 13 Live at 11. Speaking of coaches, after 30-plus years coaching the St. Rose men's basketball team, Brian Bury is returning as the head coach. We broke this story this morning on Twitter, and then the release came from the college. Bury replaces Mike Perno, who is officially out of the picture. This is a month after Perno and Bury were named co-coaches. Bury is the architect of the program uh, and put this D2 St. Rose program on the national map. Press conference is scheduled for next week. Teamwork and leadership are some of the qualities that families hope their student athletes learn while they're playing. At Johnstown, one student athlete is using the skills that he learned on the field to help others off. Lexi Swat introduces us to Zach Talon, our Spectrum Athlete of the Week. Earning a spot on the varsity baseball squad as a sophomore, Zach Talon knew what being a team player would contribute more than any batting average or ERA could. I'm just wanting to be the best at and help a team win every game or every practice. Just be the best and uh, go out there and give it 110%. And giving 110% is an attribute he's been working on well before he joined the varsity ranks. Whatever I ask Zach to do, he does it, and there's never any kickback, and it's been that way for three years. Actually, I could say it's probably for six years because I've taught him for since he was in seventh grade. It's like hitting a repeat button on a CD player. You just get it every day. Earning recognition like most dedicated and most outstanding player, while also being a Foothills Council All-Star, what Zach finds most impactful is how he treats his teammates, something the program is still processing won't be around much longer. Being a good teammate can also help win games and get those guys that are making errors and puts them in a better mood. And, you know, next at bat, they can go rip a double and get you back in the game. He's been such a mainstay, especially for the last three years. You get used to that every day, and it's just part of your life, and, and you deal with them every day and then all of a sudden you blink your eyes and it's gone. Though his impact with the Sir Bills will be over, his impact in the world is just getting started. Well, that's part of being a coach is you, you let these kids go off and you watch them thrive and be successful, be a contributor to society in a positive way, and like I don't question that for a second with Zach. Zach developed that leadership deeper in his involvement with the Cubby Favel Memorial Fund, which promotes education through athletics in the community, something near to Zach's heart because he called Cubby grandpa. He's the reason I love baseball. He's been a coach and just a role model for me all my life, and I've dedicated my life to giving back to kids and all the program to make him happy and just to make the world a better place. And I think everybody just needs to learn to be that good person. You know, you don't want a world where there's people with hatred and stuff. It's just not good. In Johnstown, I'm Lexi Swat for Big Board Sports. Thank you, Lexi. Look at your screen there and you can nominate a Spectrum Athlete of the Week. Keep them rolling in. Thanks, Roger. What a couple of days it's been. Paul's going to be back. Last look at the forecast. But first, Rachel, with what's new for tonight, Rachel. Mark and Sabrina, what a day. In